Tina from Shabby Dabby Doodle. Welcome back to my channel. So I'm here with a bunch of paints. I've finally bought some new colours. Yay! Although <laughs> to say they're probably not that much different to the colours that I did have but I've tried to go with slightly paler colours yes except for this one which oh my goodness I just couldn't resist um so I thought let's come along and make some painted tags for our junk journals so yep painted tags for our journals so I'm going to start with these are some sheets of um I, I don't think these would be referred to as fly sheets these are the sheets from books, you know, that kind of um, like the acknowledgements and those types of things, like the introduction and all of that stuff. Not this one with the maps, actually, I'm not going to use that. But here we've got like index pages. So they're not like texty pages as such. And obviously they're not image pages. But yeah, they're, they're what I would call like interesting looking texty pages. So I thought these make quite a nice base for making some painted tags. So what I'm going to do is first of all obviously make our painted pages or our painted papers from these and then what I've got here is just some ivory card um, which I think is uh, 200 GSM and I shall then glue the book page onto here so that we have you know slightly more robust tags. I will probably um, yeah I think I will probably cut this down to sort of tag shapes before gluing it onto the card but we'll kind of see when we, you know when it comes to it um so yeah I think we'll just get on oh and the other thing to mention these book pages although they are vintage they're not like the um you know what I would call like the porous uh book pages so if I just oh, try and find one now I can't find a porous book page to even show you what I'm talking about you know like the more conventional texture of a book page these it's what I would call a porous surface. Um, so yeah, I'm not using those. These are, they're not glossy. I'm dragging this out, telling you what I exactly mean, I realise, but they're not the glossy pages, but they're not the porous pages. They're that kind of like, they almost have like a bit of a sort of coat in, like a smooth coat. Um, so they're those. So I just thought the paint would sort of disguise the coat and you know, it's a way to use them. So. And to put them in my lap now what I thought that I would do is I would start by oh I should have really cleaned all this glue off of my desk but it doesn't really matter so I'm going to start by just putting some paint down now shall we go with I'm kind of thinking shall we go and build up you know build up our colors so I'm going to put some oh oh sorry dragging this all out didn't realize that these had those little thing in me bobs you know over the end so I'm going to just put a couple of blobs onto the desk like that and then this one which is you know similar sort of color I'll just put a couple of those oops let's just remove that okay okay so a couple of blobs of this. Oh, it's quite a lot darker, isn't it? And then I'm just going to put a couple of... Ooh, oh, my goodness. I mean, literally, I've only just switched the camera on, what, like about three minutes ago. And already I've now knocked the paint over into, <laughs> into the paint. This doesn't really bode well, does it? All right. Now I've got some white. So I'm just going to put the white down as well. Like that. And then I've got my little white... Uh, my water squirty bottle so I'm really going to squirt this a lot so that hopefully my paints are going to really really water down now obviously they are just blobs at the moment so I'm going to just take my tissue here and I'm going to just kind of like mix them in a bit okay like that and then I'm just going to put a little bit more water on. Okay, so then I take my texty book page and just going to dab it into the paint. So like that. Okay. So that hopefully I've still got plenty of 
you know, book page text going on. But I've also got, you know, a, a painted surface, but it's not painted, if you see what I mean. It's not like a just smooth painted surface. It's, you know, got some interesting texture to it. So I'll just put that to one side. Right, so now I'll just do one more with this whilst it's here. You know, and each page should turn out slightly different because I'm either going to have, you know, more or less paper. So, I mean, straight away, that's obviously going to be different. But we're going to then gradually add colours to this. So, hopefully, we're going to end up with, you know, quite a few different painted background pages. So, that's that one. So, if I just show you, I mean, straight away... It is lighter in colour than this one. So, oops, now I'm going to very quickly run out of space to be putting these around the desk. So I might have to actually kind of stop the video and dry them from time to time so that I'm not, you know, swamped with um, paper all over. Right, let's just take this. So this one, obviously, very pretty purpley lavender type colour. Okay. So these are just acrylic paints. I'm not sure whether I said that, um, which I mean, I love acrylic paints. And um, I mean, to be honest, I'm, you know, not very au fait with different types of paints. I know that Debbie, um, one of my subscribers, she often mentions, uh, oh gosh, what did she mention? Uh, oil, oil paint. Couldn't think of the word there. Um, oil paint. Now, I've never in my life used oil paint. That to me sounds very intimidating very scary but yeah she's she's used oil paints quite often I tend to stick to acrylics they just sound to me like you know in my comfort zone but you know I guess you could probably try this with any paint I don't know and I don't know how oil paints obviously react to water you know being oil I suspect that there's an issue there with how they're going to work just going to spray this on here slightly because I had a few kind of thicker, you know, thicker dabs of paint. So if I just get that to kind of like spread out like that. Okay, so I might have to stop the video at this point and just dry these off. So hold on. Okay, so I've dried them off. I've just put them to one side. So I will show you them all kind of, you know, further on in the video. So let's add some of this colour. I'm not sure that we've used this. No. Nope. Thing in my bob is still on there, so we definitely haven't used this. Oops, come on. Oh, sorry, I'm now flicking this around. <laughs> sorry about this. Right. Oh, I now have the paint just blobbed all over the desk. Oh dear, never mind. Right, okay, turning into just another disaster movie, isn't it? Right. Okay, lots and lots of water. I've probably dried some of this by accident when I was, you know, blow drying the paper just going to take this cardboard actually and just kind of like mix it in a bit with that as well only because some had dabbed on here and I thought oh well I'll just use this to mix it in a bit so yeah now should we put a little bit more white and then I might just put a little bit more of the pink shall I mm. Oh, I'm not sure. And do you know what? I now can't see what I've done with the pink paints. How have I... Oh, they're here. I thought, well, how have I lost those already? I mean, I'd only just used them. How could that be? Not, they're not pink. They're the lavender-y, mauve type colours. But anyway. Right, so let's put a little bit more water on here. And then I'm just going to take my tissue again and just, you know, merge it in. Oh, that's just looking predominantly lilac, isn't it? Yeah, you wouldn't even know there was pink or white in there. Only enough, right. Okay. Right, I have to get another tissue now because that one's very soggy with the paint. And that might be why I had the problem with the it all just looking lilac. Right, okay, so let's get some more book page. Okay. Okay, 
That one looks quite pretty, doesn't it? Again, might just spray this actually and hopefully get some more, you know, runs and things like that in the paint effects. Do you know what I could do even? Is you know when you're a child and you make those butterfly pictures where you kind of fold the paper over? Maybe we could do that. Oh, that's quite nice, isn't it? Bringing out my inner child now. Right, so that's that one. Oh, I'm definitely running out of space here. Okay, right. Let's put some other colours in. So let's put some, I think, some blue at this point. So I've just got the blue here. Oops. Blue looks quite dark, doesn't it, compared to everything else. So just pop that down. Might have to put some more white in here because otherwise I feel like that's pretty dark blue. Let's try and put it over the blue. Okay. Right. Just mix that in. Like that. Um, yep. A bit more water. Okay. Oh, I've done it the wrong side. Right, I'm just going to throw this piece away because I'm kind of getting in more of a mess than ever. So, yeah. Oh, right. Because if I turned it over then to use the other side, wow, I would have just ended up really messy. So I'm just going to actually rub it, rub it around in this a little bit. Okay. Oh, that one's quite nice, isn't it? Maybe could even pick up some of this paint on this card. Kind of like smoosh it around. Mm. Well, I don't think that worked brilliantly. And now, of course, I've put this down in the paint, which was exactly what I said I was trying not to do with that last one. But that's okay. Right. So that's that one. Again, now running out of space to put this. Now, I'm just going to wipe this up and then we can go with some of the green and things so that we kind of mix up the colours and get some different ones. So I'm going to quickly dry these off again and then I'll be back. Hold on. Okay, so, right, let's go in with... Actually, I'm going to do the green first and then we'll add light blue and green, if you see what I mean. So, oops, again... I need to peel this little tinfoil stuff off. So, yeah, let's do some pale green. Then we'll add some of the darker green. And then I think we'll add some blue to it. Um, I don't think we want to add purple to the green. But, hey, who knows? Maybe we will in the end. Oh, my goodness. I forgot to put the lid back on. So now we've got a big splurge of that one. Okay, right. Put some white in with that as well. And then just loads of water. I mean, the water is really just making it easier to move the paint around, really, because without the water, the paint probably would not be very. Um, what's the word? Well, it just wouldn't really want to move around too much. So you know that's why we've, oops, why we've mixed the water in with that. Now, what have I done with my tissue? Oh, I've used them all up now, so let me just pull this one back in. Oh dear. Right, just going to put some more white in here as well, I think. And then just a bit more, a bit more water. Okay, right. Okay. So, yep, yeah, let's just smoosh some book page in with this. Okay. Oh my goodness, I'm gradually dropping this everywhere. I'm going to end up with paint on all of my all of my things all over the desk. Right, so I mean that looks gorgeous. Absolutely love that. I mean I love green. So yeah, that for me just looks so so pretty. Now I'm just going to try and dab off a bit from the back that's you know pretty bad. Right, okay. 
Then I'm just going to grab myself a wipe so that I can just wipe my hands, which are getting increasingly painty. Honestly, me and paint. I mean, why I didn't put my little rubber gloves on, I have no idea. It didn't even occur to me if I'm truthful. Uh, well, I always actually seem to think that I'm not going to get that messy. And I'm always surprised when I do. I mean, why it doesn't occur to me. Of course I'm going to get this messy because I always do. I don't know. I'm just always under this complete delusion that well, I'm not going to get that messy this time. And yeah, just always then shocked, shocked when I have. Right, just put that to one side. Now, what's happened to my white paint? Oh, I can't even see it. No doubt it's sat here somewhere underneath something and I'm being completely oblivious to where it is again. Anyway, right. So again, just going to have to pull that same piece of tissue out. Oh, my white paint. It's here in the bin. Obviously dropped, dropped into the bin just then. So when I say bin, I mean, I just have a carrier bag hung on my handle on my desk so uh, yeah right okay just going to put a little dab more water on here okay right oh my gosh <gasps> oh I love that color green I mean honestly green's my favorite color and that whole bright green is oh the favourite of the favourites, if you see what I mean. So, yeah, absolutely love it. Love, love, love that colour. Right, so I'm going to put that to one side. Now I'm just going to try and do one more sheet before I dry them. So just put that on there. Um, let's do one more with some light green in it. And then actually let's try and do one with some blue and green. So, yeah, I fibbed when I said I'm just going to do one more. I'm going to try. Try and do two more. Oh, gosh. Oh, for some reason I had a feather stuck on me, which is weird because I've not used feathers for yonks, absolutely yonks, like years. So I don't know why I had a feather stuck on me. Right, I might have to dry this piece because it's not wanting to sit flat. So let me just try again. Come on. Come on. Okay, right. Uh... Just smoosh that in with my tissue. Oh, no, I haven't got tissue, so, oh, well, just use the wet wipe. Right. Okay. okay. Okay, that's that one. Okay, right, let's put that one to one side again. I'm seriously running out of space. Right, okay, I'm going to now just very quickly do some with blue in it, I think, because the blue with the green, I think, would look good. Now I'm going to try just the lighter green first, and then we might come back and do one with the dark green as well, so... And we'll end up with very dark base for our tags, but that's okay. Right, let's just smoosh those colours ah, like that. Okay, right. Take this. So this is slightly different texture book page. It's still got that sort of slight coating that I talked about, you know, at the beginning of the video, but it's not quite as matte uh, as sort of coated as the the other one so yeah that's that one absolutely love how that one looks oh it's so run out of space oh, right okay i've put it up there now right let's do one more quickly before i wipe the desk down and dry the bits so we'll do one with the dark green and then the blue so a bit there and then the blue Kidoki and a bit of white and then a little bit of the 
pale green oh, little bits of blue there right and then yeah lots of water again okay right oh this one looks pretty doesn't it so yeah let's see how this one goes that looks gorgeous doesn't it i might just have to smoosh it slightly with the wipe because otherwise i've got quite lumpy bits so yeah just do it slightly with the wipe and also you know i haven't got it everywhere so right that's that one. Oh, don't know where to put this now i'm literally out of space but i want to just pick up the remainder of the paper so i'm just going to balance it in my carrier bag that's my bin Okay, right, last piece of paper. So, oh, where's my water? A little bit of water spray here. Okay, and then just smoosh this one in. Oh my goodness, look at this one. Oh, this is my favourite one. Absolute favourite one. Oh my goodness, that is yummy. Oh, this has got another sheet of paper. You know what's going to happen here, don't you? Yeah, I have to do the other sheet. And now I've got no way to put this. Oh, I'll have to just hold it and hope for the best. Right. So, yeah, let's just pick up all the last bits of paint from the desk. With this one. Oh, look. I've lost, lost the blue. That's a shame, isn't it? Right, okay. So I'm going to dry these off now and then I'll be back. Hold on. Right, I'm back. So please excuse my painty fingers. Obviously did not put the gloves on, so now I'm covered in paint. But I just want to quickly show you my lovely painted book pages. So obviously we had the pretty pinky coloured ones that we did first. Then we've got the purpley pink there. Then we added the blue. And then we've got the gorgeous green ones where we did the paler green and then we kind of built up, adding then gradually. So then we had the blue incorporated with the green as well. So aren't they just gorgeous? Now, all I've done so far is just dried them with my heat tool. It's got to be said, they probably could do with ironing really um, because they are now a little bit... Um, you know lumpy from the you know getting so soggy and now being dried so yeah i might have to actually iron them but what we're going to do is obviously create some tags with these now i'm just having a look behind me i've got my little acetate tag templates so i'm just going to pull those in okay so what i'm thinking is cut these out and then glue them onto my cardstock. So I will probably cut them out and then if I want to iron them, I'm just going to iron the portions that I'm actually using rather than sort of ironing the whole thing unnecessarily because, oh, heaven forbid that I would do more ironing than I have to. So I'm just going to cut this down. Now, I'm not too worried at this point if I'm not cutting this, um, you know, accurately with the template because obviously once I've glued it on, to the backing card I can always kind of trim it down then so you know so long as I get a rough tag shape that's you know pretty much good enough really so like that okay so I can tidy these up obviously like I say afterwards so we can get a second one from here so just put that like that and then I've got obviously a sideways on portion which you know doesn't bother me really if the text runs sideways down so I can obviously do those as well so just cut this one out like that okay there we go so and as you can see I mean I'm actually making these a bit taller than that template it's just for a bit of you know bit of a change really so I'll just pop that one down like that okay so, I mean, actually, it's pretty good. I can get three out of this particular sheet. I think this was the second sheet that I used. So, the other one, obviously, was slightly, slightly different size. But, anyway, we'll, we'll see how it goes. So, 
just cut out a few. So what I'll do, I'll just cut out maybe a green one so that we've got, you know, a couple of different looks really. Um, and then I'll probably, you know, come back in a different video and we'll do something else with some of the other pages. Now, do we want to do, do we want to do one of the very bright ones? Because I really, really, really love this. Yeah, I think I do. Now, the only thing is this one is obviously pretty soggy still, even though I have dried it for quite a long time. The paint was very, very thick and lumpy. So yeah, maybe I won't be able to do that one. Just from the point of view, it's not really dry. So this one is very similar, you know, similar kind of shades. But obviously this one is, you know, drier. So let's just use this one for the time being. So just cut this one down. I just love this blue and green. I mean, there is that rhyme, isn't there? Blue and green must never be seen, which of course, you know, makes no sense because actually you could just switch the blue for any colour, couldn't you? And say, you know, red and green must never be seen or you know, pink and green must never be seen because it's just what rhymes with green, isn't it? Which, of course, any colour you could put in there. But, I mean, for me, I think, oh, every every colour in green should be seen because green's my favourite colour. So, yeah, for me, I think, oh, anything looks great with green. But especially blue, actually. You know, ironically, the rhyme is blue and green, isn't it? But ironically, I absolutely love blue and green together. Actually, to be fair, I do love pink and green as well. That's, yeah, probably on a par. Pink and green and blue and green. I love them both equally. So, yeah, my absolute, um, you know, one of my favourite colour combinations, pink and green or blue and green. Right, anything, anything in green if I'm truthful. But, yeah. Right, we will just cut this down. Now, I'm just deciding whether I need to iron these or not. We'll have a look in a second and see how you know, how wrinkly they look, whether they need ironing or not. So, let's take that one down there. Like that. Okay. So, yeah, not too bad. Right. Let's take the template out. So, I'm just going to put these to one side. I mean, to be honest, it's not too bad. They are a little bit wrinkly because, of course, you know, they have endured quite a bit of, um, you know, soggy mucking about but once I've glued them on and kind of spread them out with the glue spreader I think they will you know settle down and be okay actually so I don't think they do need ironing um you know which is again another reason for obviously cutting them out first because otherwise I would have just you know ironed unnecessarily and who wants to do that okay so this is just ivory cardstock like I said it's I think um Hmm. Yeah, I think 200 or possibly 220 GSM, something like that. I actually can't recall, so I do apologise. Right, let's just take my glue. So this is the Nita's Tacky Glue. That's the glue that I always tend to use. It's, you know, it's just what I get on best with. So I'm just going to go around the tag obviously kind of close to the edge as I can as I can and then I will glue some in the middle as well so hopefully then you've got a good good coating of glue all around okay actually you might be better off doing them this way around so yeah like that now I'm just going to use my card there as my glue spreader Okay, there we go. Right, now I'm just going to, yeah, glue the rest down. So I'll just glue a few of, a few of these down and then we'll come back, but rather than bore you all to tears watching me glue, so hold on. Right, I'm back. So I've just literally glued down three and, you know, cut them out so that we can, you know, have a look and see. Now, I've just scoured around my desk. Obviously, you know, my desk being my desk is covered in all sorts of rubbish. So I've got some of my heart principles and I thought let's use some of these as a little kind of focal point on the tag. I do like a tag with a focal point really. Um, so I'm just going to take, yeah, a couple. I might take this dark one because I think that would be rather nice, you know, as a contrast. 
So, right, let me put my glasses on and cut these out. Now, ordinarily, when I put the focal point on, I would really have these on a thicker card, you know, not card, but thicker grade paper. These, again, are printed on 120 GSM um, paper, and ordinarily, you know, if I were making it a focal point on, say, a tag, I would probably use 200 to 250 GSM um, paper, but these are just what were laying around on my desk. So I thought, well, let's just, you know, embrace these and use these. Oh my goodness, how yummy does that look? Absolutely love it. So I'll just cut this one out as well. Okay. Oh, it's so boiling today. And again, I know I say this all the time, I am filming ahead. So if I'm, or if you're watching me, sorry, and you live in the UK and it's freezing, I mean, it could be that this video is months before it, you know, goes up. Sometimes they get lost, <laughs> buried on my phone. Sometimes they just get superseded with other things. So yeah, it could be anywhere from, you know, who knows tomorrow to, you know, six months time when this video goes up. But yeah, I'm not fibbing. It is, you know absolutely boiling here today right now these are my little victorian beauties principles this is my uh like collage sheet and let's take one of these just so that all my tags don't kind of look the same but i've then got just you know one or two different different things so right now i was thinking on the blue um i'm now actually thinking maybe even on the green what do we think Oh, I can't decide now. I think perhaps because I had, you know, glanced at that just while I was cutting the tags out and thought, oh, yeah, that would look good on the blue. But maybe it would have looked better if it had a bit of, bit of a darker blue piece on there. I don't want it to look, um, you know, dull and boring. I like to have a really striking um, effect, which I feel like it, you know looks a little bit insipid just on the pale blue so yeah well perhaps we'll just put it on the green I mean sometimes it's about mixing things up with what you would not typically put them with so you know mix them up with your non um you know predictable piece and that's when sometimes you get your most interesting finished results isn't it you know mix them with the pieces you would least expect and you might end up with the pieces that, you know, you love the most. So and not always, but, you know, sometimes. So let's just take these. So I'm just going to ink this up around the edges. Okie dokie. Now, I'm not even going to kind of like, you know, stencil over these or stamp or anything. I'm going to just leave them in all their glory of the painted background because I actually think they look, you know, super, super, super pretty and don't really necessarily need anything else. Um, I mean, obviously, you could now stamp over them or something like that, but yeah, I actually think they look gorgeous just as they are. So I'm just going to have a quick sip of my drink, which I just nipped down and got whilst I was, um, you know, breaking to cut the tags out. So, right, just pulling in this, it was just laying around on the desk. I don't know whether I could fit that in anywhere. I just kind of spotted it and thought, oh, oh, I wonder if we could squish that in. I mean, we could maybe have that there. This page, I think this is from Butterfly Blue Papers. Um, and yeah, I mean, it was just a scrap laying about on the desk, but I thought, well, actually... It's got some blue, it's got some pink. Maybe we could use it on there, so should we? It's always fun to just mix things in, isn't it? So yeah, let's just pop that one down. Okay, like that. So I'm just popping that down there and then the heart. So I hope everyone's having a good day. Maybe you are doing some crafting. I hope you're having a nice time. Do share below, you know, what projects you're working on. I know I say it all the time, but yeah, it is really, really handy, um, you know, to inspire others with what you're working on. There we go. Right, now, 
Just thinking possibly a butterfly or something like that on here. So I'm just seeing what else I've got laying around. I've got this, which is one of my little layered butterflies. Oops, I'm not sure if this is quite the right thing. Oh, maybe that one over there actually. Just suddenly kind of spotted that and thought, oh, maybe that would be better. Now let me just reach behind me because I think I've got more. Yeah. So this is my little tub of layered butterflies from when we did our mass making of these. So I've got one with blue on it. Oh my goodness, how gorgeous does that look? So yeah, really like that. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to just glue this down, just using again the wet glue, not, not using hot glue or anything like that. And then I'm just going to ink around. Now the inking is going to like shrink the tag if you see what I mean. So, you know, if you were thinking, oh, that looks really boring because she's not stamped or anything like that in the background, by just inking around the edges, it just brings the tag in, makes it look A, smaller in size, you know, and B, it just closes the edges off. So even though we haven't put any, oh, sorry, I've just knocked a bunch of stuff off my shelf. Um, even though we've not added any stamping or, you know, any detail kind of in the background, by just inking around, it's closed that off and kind of made it not such a big deal. Right, let's ink the back of the tag. Like that, okay. Just, oh, not the butterfly off, oh gosh. That's why I normally use hot glue for things like that. So yeah, let's use a bit of hot glue just to get that stuck on and staying put. There we go, right. Okay. So, oh, sorry, I really am just literally like butterfingers today. I don't know what's going on with me. Right, loving how that looks. Now, what do we want to have as a tab for this? I've got some of this pretty blue fabric in the background, uh, not in the background, laying around, laying around in the background. Um, yeah, I think might just use that. So if I just snip that down here, like that, okay. Okie dokie. Just rough the edges up a bit so it's got some sort of frayed frayed edge detail. Okay, and then, yeah, should we have it like that? Oh my goodness, I mean, doesn't that look so pretty? So I'm just going to put that down here on the front, like that. And then on the back here. like that okay and then obviously because this is just wet glue i can you know move that around and adjust it as needed so that looks really pretty i'm just going to have another sip of my tea Oops. and then let's just get some bling because everything's better with bling and i'm thinking a row of bling here across the top and then possibly a couple there on that butterfly so you just trim that down oh my goodness oh all fingers and thumbs just awful today so sorry right oh my goodness come on oh like that and that's just you know brightening that tag up giving it a little bit more detail and interest oops i'm just grabbing my hot glue gum which obviously had slipped off the desk so right let's take this oh why is my glue not coming out now okay right it's i think the glue has kind of melted a little bit um, and now the, the stick won't fit through the hot glue, so I'll just twist that round a bit. Okay. Come 
come on. And hopefully it will start to work in a moment. Come on. I have to just force it through a little bit. Okay. Oh, honestly. I don't often have glue problems with my hot glue, but yeah, definitely that's what's happened was this was kind of resting against this hot glue stick on my desk and it, you know, melted the glue, which obviously then the glue stick went to weird shape and now can't really fit through the glue gun. So I shouldn't have probably used it, but of course I thought, oh, well, I'm sure that will be fine. Now regretting it and thinking, oh, why did I use it? Come on. Right, just try and get it, get it going a bit. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. Right, hold on a second. Right, sorry about that. Yes, lots of glue troubles. I've had to um, dig that whole glue stick out and re-put, you know, a new one in. So, right, let's just pop this bling on here. Okay, that one. And then this one up here. Yeah, I absolutely love these hearts on here. Don't they look pretty? Really gorgeous. Okay, right, there we go. So, yeah. I mean, absolutely, you know, no effort decorating, that is. And it just looks gorgeous, doesn't it? You've just got the little hint of the book page running in the background. And then obviously, you know, that little tiny bit of paper from the butterfly blue and the heart, um, you know, printable there as the kind of main focal point. And then just by, you know, very lightly inking the edge and, you know, popping the butterfly and then the bling. It's just transformed the whole tag, hasn't it? So that's that one. Let's do this one now with the little um victorian beauties one just because otherwise you know they're all going to look a bit the same so yeah let's put that there now again just pulling this in because it's floating around on the desk so i'm not necessarily saying we're going to use it but just in case we want to so let's just see i mean we might decide this is better with nothing and also i don't want to cover up that gorgeous blue which is in the background which you know I possibly am by doing that so yeah I might prefer that with nothing um, and we could have a bit of this I suppose this is just some of my lace printables no I don't think that's quite right uh, oh do you have one of these frame edges mm. Mm. let me just take this one down uh, Oh, I don't know now. Um, yeah, what do we think to this? Let me just grab my scissors. So I'm just going to take this and just mitre this down here. Not not as a join or anything, but you know, just for if I if I want to include this frame. Or we could even have it here. Like that. I mean, I do love a frame, it's got to be said. Actually, now I'm thinking, oh, perhaps we'd have the frame with the heart. I mean, or perhaps we won't have the frame at all, I don't know. Mm. That is quite nice, isn't it? I just love the, um, you know, the bright contrast. I mean, again, when I take it away, I think, oh, it looks quite boring. Let me just cut this down slightly because... It's a little bit big here. So, yeah, just take that one down slightly. Okay. So, yeah, let's let's have the um, frame with the heart. So, the frames are from um, my bird topper pieces I've got some framed birds there's also a set of framed vintage pieces but that's what these are from the frame is from um it because you get some large images as well and this is what the frame is from so yeah 
aren't they just beautiful you know i'm not even using the whole frame just a little portion of it but that's all you need you know it's just a small portion and it just transforms it doesn't it so just pop that round there and you know what i've just spotted to the side of me is i had bought some gold paint in to potentially use on the books now thinking edge the tag with the gold so let's just quickly distress ink it around like that okay and then I'm going to just take the gold and I'm just going to go around and edge the whole tag I, th I think the whole tag you know when I come to do it I might think actually maybe just little odds you know odds and bits but I think edge the whole thing with some gold so let's just have a look oh this must have one of those little thingy me bobs as well yeah because I had to replace my gold gold is the color that I would use most probably out of all the acrylics I absolutely love using gold you know in in any form you know in the uh, distress ink stuff not not ink what do you call it embossing powder that's the word in the embossing powder oh my goodness in paint in the um you know alcohol inks the gold's just gorgeous isn't it so yeah let's just pop that around okay So yeah, just going kind of round the edges, just with the gold. Oh my goodness, how yummy does that look? Absolutely love that. Right, now, just grab a wipe to wipe that off my desk before I dab everything else in it. Right, now, what do we want to have as the topper piece for there? I'm thinking somehow incorporate the gold because, you know, I'm loving the gold so much. Now, I've just got some green velvet ribbon here. Oh my gosh, look at that. So we could even have it there like that. And yeah. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to staple this on and I'm going to try and staple it quite low. And the reason being is because I would like to put a gold gem on. So I want to have like my bulk, i.e. you know, the staple and things lower down so that when I put a gem on, it's not going to be too bulky. So fingers crossed for this. So... Put that down there like that and then what I can do is just dab a little bit of hot glue to hold that in place like that okay so just grab my oops, scissors sorry just not my hot glue gun again which of course now I need to pull back in because I'm going to use a gem here so yep like that and then oh, just need to find a suitable gem i mean i have to say you know that was not my choice of a gem that was just laying there from a different project but even that one actually looks good doesn't it because it's actually quite a similar color to the flowers now yeah i'm not necessarily thinking i'm going to go with that one but i'm just saying it didn't look too oh my goodness too bad oh that is gorgeous let's put that one on okay like that oh my gosh how gorgeous is that absolutely love it really 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 love it that just finishes that off perfectly doesn't it now i mean i don't think that needs anything else um yeah i don't think so i mean it could I guess have a butterfly or something but I actually don't think it really really needs anything I mean to be honest the butterfly if anything is I think detracting from the you know the focal point so 
yeah I don't think so let me just double check so these are just um you know like I say the butterflies that we've done in the mass making the layered butterflies mm. I mean again they're just what was laying around on my desk I really need to print off some more of my bright butterflies and then then I will have some to use but failing that you know this isn't too bad so yeah I don't think it needs a butterfly um I did bring some labels along or the other thing that I have got actually is got some of my fairy tale words uh hmm. so I'm thinking what about this where it says glass slipper and this is actually in a navy bluish type colour, so potentially would go quite well. So let's just take that down. I love the whole fairy tale kind of theme. Just really nice, isn't it? Very whimsical. Whimsical and girly, which who doesn't love whimsical and girly after all? So there we go. Oh, I don't know whether it really needs a word, to be honest, or, you know, sentiment of any kind, actually. I think perhaps it doesn't. Yeah, I don't think it does. So, yeah, I'm going to leave it like that. So it's quite a minimalist tag, this. Very, very, very um, slight in the decorations, but absolutely loved it. So, uh, yeah, probably run out of time because I've stopped the video so many times. I've no clue how long we've been filming for, I'm afraid. So, yes, we'll have to come back and do this one another time. Um, and possibly use some of those other papers for some other things or maybe some more tags or you know whatever um, but yeah I really hope that you like them hope you feel inspired to maybe do some of your own painted tags for your junk journals and yeah thank you so much for watching if you like this video I'd love it if you could give it a thumbs up and I will see you guys in the next video thanks then